Let's talk about keyboard commands. We know keyboard shortcuts, but these are actions that you can trigger by using a very few keys by pressing them on your keyboard. You can open up or you can perform some kind of you know actions automatically instead of you or perform from mouse clicks. A couple of mouse clicks might take it, but instead you could you know use and then simple shortcuts for example to open the windows settings uh, simply you can press windows key on your keyboard and press i that's going to open up your uh, windows system settings and similarly for the quick settings panel you can press control windows key with n that's going to open up the notifications and also and press windows a that's going to open up the quick settings panel so these are the three of the key both shortcuts that we have already learned so far half about other keyboard shortcuts uh, maybe Control c for copying a text or Control v for pasting the text or performing undo between the text so these are the common shortcuts that we have within windows 11 and other windows operating systems right so having uh, a link web link that you could you know check out for uh, almost all the operating system that is covered um, currently supported operating systems at least uh, you see here for Windows 11 you have a couple of categorized shortcuts are available for example copy paste you could use the control C for cutting and if in case if you just want to you know copy use a control C and for pasting control V and also control z which would take the undo action alt tab so you have you know multiple options here to perform it right and uh, a couple of the important or uh, i would say you know i feel that these are very interesting sh uh, shortcuts that we could you know talk about here uh, for example a windows lower key where we could you know play with a windows lower key on your keyboard with that you could you know a lot of things like control a we have already covered like you know a windows key with a we have covered as a quick settings and also for b for taskbar corner it's going to the corner and c for opening directly microsoft teams a new chart window and like this you know a lot of things like you know file explorer always we normally use this one of the shortcut like windows key with e that's gonna open up your file explorer and also uh, we would uh, look into other settings uh, for example here to minimize everything we use windows key with m to minimize everything again if you use the same key it's gonna uh, open up also uh, with the and it's going to open up the notification and to restore you could you know use the windows key shift and m that's going to open up the all the minimized windows automatically for you and like this you have your multiple things but uh, best suggestion would be you to you know look into this one other very very important and easiest one uh, we should you know remember definitely this one use your windows key with a pause button on your keyboard which will open up the complete operating system or the system details um, this is nothing but the device name cpu power and the number of cores and ram all of that stuff will come up here so this is an easy and very meaningful um, shortcuts which can be find within this so my friends uh, please do check out here uh, this article which is available in the resource section also once you uh, visit this shortcut key uh, web page this is gonna let you know a lot other keys that can be easily lend yourself I hope this shortcuts uh, URL is useful for you thank you